Have you ever given a thought to the epic tale of your ordinary roll of toilet paper? Brace yourself for a riveting ride spanning millennia. The idea of personal cleanliness has been critical to societies from societies from the dawn of civilization, with the tools and techniques transforming dramatically over the ages. Picture this. Our ancestors made do with whatever nature had to offer. Hence, the ancient Greeks' fragments for cleaning. The Romans, famous for their social bathhouses and progressive water systems, practiced cleanliness in unison, employing a communal sponge on a stick, doused in salty water after each use. While it doesn't quite fit our contemporary notions of comfort and privacy, it was a practical fix before the advent of paper. So this brings us to ancient China, where the saga of our familiar toilet paper kicks off. In the 6th century, the Chinese began using actual paper for personal sanitation, not surprising given their existing use of paper for scripting. This primitive toilet paper, crafted from rice straw and discarded rags formed into sheets, marked a major shift from the previous practices. The concept of cleansing ourselves after doing our business is age-old, but the creation of real toilet paper is a rather modern invention. So, get ready to plunge into this fascinating. As we fast forward through history, toilet paper took a while to become the staple we know today. The journey to our soft, perforated rolls was a winding one, filled with a myriad of makeshift methods and materials. During the Middle Ages, paper was a luxury item, often reserved for the wealthy and the aristocratic. Most people had to make do with whatever was readily available, and let's just say it was far from comfortable. From hay and moss to old rags and even the occasional seashell, the options were as varied as they were innovative. The concept of hygiene was less than ideal as you can imagine. However, necessity is the mother of invention, and in the midst of this struggle for sanitary solutions, the evolution of toilet paper began. As we move into the 19th century, we see the first commercially available toilet paper, and we have Joseph Gaetti to thank for that. In 1857, Gaetti introduced his medicated paper, which were flat sheets infused with aloe. A far cry from the soft two-ply rolls we're used to today, these sheets were more like today's tissue paper. Gaetti's medicated paper was a game-changer. It was a big step towards prioritizing personal hygiene and comfort. However, it wasn't without its drawbacks. The sheets were sold in packs, not rolls, and they were quite pricey. This meant that despite its advantages, Gaiety's invention was not immediately accessible to everyone. It's interesting to note that our ancestors weren't exactly thrilled with the idea of using paper for such a delicate task. Many people continued to use the traditional methods they were used to, viewing this newfangled paper product with a degree of skepticism. Despite its rough start, toilet paper was here to stay. But it still had a long way to go before it became the product we can't live without. The evolution was far from over and the journey to the modern role was just beginning. The toilet paper roll as we know it didn't appear until the late 19th century. It was a time of industrial revolution, and with it came a revolution in personal hygiene as well. The Albany Perforated Wrapping Paper Company took the lead, introducing the first ever perforated toilet paper roll in 1877. This was a game changer in the world of personal hygiene. The simple yet genius idea of perforating the paper allowed for easy tearing, making the process much more efficient and user-friendly. But let's not forget the Scott brothers, Clarence and Irvin. These enterprising siblings saw an opportunity in this new product and jumped on it. They were instrumental in popularizing the toilet paper roll, transforming it from a niche item into a household staple. But it wasn't an easy sell. You see, in those days, there was a certain shyness, a reluctance to openly purchase toilet paper. It was a subject that was, well, a bit taboo. So, how did the Scott brothers overcome this hurdle? They cleverly marketed toilet paper as a medical item. Yes, you heard that right. The Scott brothers took advantage of the Victorian era's obsession with health and sanitation, positioning toilet paper as a necessity for maintaining good health. This was a master stroke of marketing that helped break down the barriers of embarrassment and stigma surrounding the product. Gradually, society's attitude towards toilet paper began to change. It was no longer seen as an embarrassing purchase, but as a symbol of cleanliness and comfort. The Scott brothers' innovative marketing approach played a crucial role in this transformation, paving the way for the widespread acceptance and use of toilet paper. And that brings us to the toilet paper we know and love today a product that's become a symbol of cleanliness and comfort across the globe. It's fascinating to think about how far we've come, from the rudimentary methods of ancient times to the soft, perforated rolls we use today. It's a testament to human ingenuity 
and the relentless pursuit of comfort and hygiene. From stones and clay to perforated rolls, the history of toilet paper is more nuanced than one might think. The journey began with our ancestors using natural elements for their sanitary needs, but the human quest for comfort and hygiene led to the invention of paper for this specific purpose by the Chinese, a testament to their ingenuity. As we moved through the centuries, the advent of commercially available toilet paper marked a new era of convenience and personal care. Now we have the modern roll, a ubiquitous feature in bathrooms worldwide, its form perfected over time to suit our needs. This humble product, often taken for granted, is a testament to human innovation and our constant drive for improvement. So the next time you reach for that role, take a moment to appreciate the long journey it's been on. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating histories. And remember, every day items often have extraordinary stories. How is toilet paper actually made? The answer might surprise you, as the journey from tree to toilet is quite a fascinating one. First things first, the process begins with trees, specifically softwood trees like pine and fir. These trees are harvested and sent to a mill, where they are stripped of their bark. The debarked logs are then chipped into tiny pieces, a bit like the wood chips you might use in a smoker or barbecue. Next, the wood chips are cooked in a concoction of chemicals and heat, a process that breaks them down into a substance known as pulp. This pulp, which is a mushy, paper-like material, is washed and bleached until it becomes white. The white pulp is then sent through a machine that presses it into thin sheets. These sheets are dried and then wound onto large rolls. These rolls are so large, in fact, that they can be as wide as 10 feet and weigh as much as a ton. These massive rolls of paper are then cut into smaller, more manageable rolls. These smaller rolls are the ones you would recognize from your local grocery store. Once the paper is cut into the appropriate size, it's time for the final step, embossing. This is the process that gives toilet paper its signature quilted pattern. This pattern isn't just for aesthetics, it also helps to increase the paper's absorbency. Finally, the rolls are wrapped in plastic, packed into boxes, and shipped off to stores around the world. And that, my friends, is how a tree becomes the toilet paper that we all know and use on a daily basis. So, the next time you reach for a roll of toilet paper, take a moment to appreciate the journey it's been on. From tree to toilet, it's a process that involves a lot of steps and a lot of hard work. But the end result is a product that we all rely on, every single day. If you found this information interesting, don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating insights into everyday items. It's a big, interesting world out there, and we're here to help you explore it one topic at a time.